Howdy, it's Danny Kraster. And today we're going to make a bow. Come on, really, another bow out of rebar. Fiberglass rebar. While I'm finishing a composite bow with cool limbs and with that multi layer kind of super handle, fuck knows if it's going to burst into my face, it's a long process and the epoxy on the limbs has to harden. Actually, I haven't done shit yet. For now, let's check out the bow out of fiberglass rebar, just for fun. Before dealing with those god awful bars, I'd like to protect my precious organs. First of all, my respiratory organs and eyes, because Okay. What we have here is a fiberglass rebar. Inside it has a bar with unidirectional fibers, but it is wrapped in another layer, another wrap, and it all is embedded in epoxy. To make a bow, actually we don't have to remove all that crap, but I want to because to make proper limbs, this thread here that is wrapped around, it won't let us get proper tension. We won't fuck around with the handle today, but we will check the pulling force of the limbs and see how many bars and how long they should be to make a bow better. First of all, I want to mark off how much I need to bite off each bar. I'm planning to have two full length bars and two half length bars to spread the load properly. Let's go! Let's check the length. I will cut it with that thing. I usually cut plastic tubes and soft metal stuff with it. It is usually used by dudes doing the pipe soldiering. Why is it good? There's less dust comparing to other saws. Let's see if it can deal with the bars. So we'll take about 2 meters, 6.5 feet on each bar and cut them. I hope my cutter won't go spiral. Nah, the cutter sucks ass. Fuck it, I'm, I'm making this just one video. It's not like I'm working with that shit every day. Now I won't bother about it, but you really should. You mother f Should I cut you with something else? I have a small saw. No, well, no, we'll have to saw it off properly. It just tells me to go fuck myself. Even sawn in half. Finally. Sounds like real glass, actually, like something ceramic. If this rebar proves itself to be good today, I think that the ballista, if I manage to get down to it and won't get shit-faced during a stream out of a basement, like last time I did, trying to make a ballista, we won't make the limbs for it out of a sling, which I think is completely out of date practice and won't be really effective. No, we'll make them out of these rebars. I saw some dude on YouTube testing the crossbow, and I found out, according to his tests, the retraction time of that kind of bars is smaller than of steel limbs. And the retraction time affects the initial velocity of the arrow, which is fired with that kind of bow. Not the pulling force, like 20 kilograms and fuck it, it will fly with some cosmic speed. Really, the retraction time, just like in the slingshot, that is, no matter how strongly you pull it back, it is important. Of course, the pulling force is important, but the retraction time creates the momentum to an arrow. I'm gonna fasten it with electrical tape today. I think the smartest way is to use some coating, like rod coating, a string and some coating. That's gonna be good. Or we can use epoxy, actually, but epoxy might crack when we fuck this shit up. Okay, we have two bars. We'll wrap them by electrical tape, or maybe we should take off a third layer. Nah, fuck it, not today. When we'll be making proper limbs, then I'll bother. Two hundred and eight centimeters, eighty inches. The middle is one hundred and four centimeters, forty inches. So now I want to check the pulling force of one limb. Uh, we will put it here, we'll put it somewhere here, and let's bend it. So we have a, a point in the center, a point of force, we can measure it. So the pulling force of one limb is uh, 7 kilograms, 15 pounds. I will pull it on until it starts crunching. Actually, it did not start crunching up to 10 kilograms, 22 pounds. This is pretty cool, so we don't really need these middle bars. Well, we have just to put on the bowstring some shit for it to hold on and we can already shoot. Therefore, the bow out of fiberglass is really easy. You don't have to do shit, actually. But let's go on. I want to add 
two more bars. The only thing we need to protect ourselves, and which I've completely forgotten, gloves. But I don't really like to work in gloves. Uh, there are two bars. We fasten them, tying them to the middle of these ones, putting on the bowstring, and let's test it. Don't waste your time. Blue electrical tape, true, holy and orthodox. I'll probably do an experiment someday fixing a drive shaft in an SUV with electrical tape. <laughs> I think that should be cool. Strange, but actually, the bow is ready. We have to put on a bowstring and we have new arrows. They are longer than the last ones we used. It means more killing power. The size is similar to our longbow. Let's take the same bowstring and see how good it is. We really have to count the preload of a blow. <laughs> blow. Bow. Fuck. I put these things upside down. Let's check if the bowstring fits properly. Uh, <laughs> my hands are covered in glass. Not good. Let's put on the glasses. It's not so fucking tight like a bow made out of a skateboard. 10 kilograms we have. Not enough. I don't want 10, I want 20. I want to go outlaw. Let's turn that shit around the proper way and add two more bars in the middle from here to here to make that fucker stronger. 142 centimeters, 4.5 feet, we have to cut off. So I take the tape off here, here, well, everywhere. Okay, that was pretty fucking quick. Holy shit, that's gonna be some bow. The bow you wanna blow. I hope I won't be out of tape. I use nearly all of it. We call it a glass bow, but also we can call it a construction site bow, because it's a bow from fucking construction site supplies. So we have to tape on the mountings. Actually, we don't really have to tighten the tape, because when there are many layers, it tightens itself. You can check it if you wind several layers up on your finger. After 5 or 10 layers, you'll see what I'm talking about. The design reminds me of, guess what, Half-Life fucking 2. That what it reminds me of. The bow itself weighs like 7 kilograms. Who was that fucking guy who was riding the seas fucking up Cyclopses? Odyssey? I remember watching a flick where when before he came back, no one could bend his bow and bend his wife too. And then he came back kicking ass and taking names and bent them both. That is fucking rad. 20 centimeters already make 10 kilograms. That is, 8 inches make 22 pounds. The best way, I guess, is to make the handle from a textile duct tape. Let's use a target now. Later we'll summon our Scrotty. He's resting now, you know. We do many experiments here. He's quite a busy test subject. Considering we started to fuck around the bows, we did some shopping and as you asked in the comments, because you take pity on me, we got a forearm protector because the bowstring is constantly tearing off pieces of my skin. They like phew, fly off. This is some piece of shit. I really don't know. And a red quiver. So I am a fancy pants bowman today. We'll start with the, the short arrow. The short arrow means less bowstring tension. Well, fuck knows. The tension, you know, the tension is more similar to a bow made out of a skateboard, which was our last champion. Now let's uh, take a longer arrow. Now we're gonna kick some ass. Holy fuck, even the sound is deafening. Let's see. Why did I screw it down? That's no fun at all. So how did it get into plywood? I think, by the way, I can sharpen these arrows a bit on the turning machine. Well, the plywood, not really. The plywood is actually hard to penetrate, because it's a bitch. Let's shoot Scrotty. Don't break from a tradition. Hello, Mr. Scrotty. I'm so sorry to bother you, but you know, we're shooting an experimental video out there. Made a new bow and everyone is waiting for you there. Is that okay? Yeah, I know. The glass bow versus Scrotty, the long arrow. Oh yeah, the killing power is similar to the bow made out of a skateboard. Its handle is cracked, but who am I not to compare them? Skateboard bow right now is a champion in tension. Let's arm it. 
I've never tried long arrows with this bow, to be honest. Let's see. Skate bow, long arrows. Sounds like some shitty movie title. Well, what? In fact, it was expected. The main thing is to duck in time. Oh, holy shit, the bow is awesome. The bow is very mighty. It will shoot your ass off. These quickies are good, because you don't have to fuck around with the bows, but if you want to shoot a few times and have fun, ugh. It goes right through the head area, and in the head the layer is very thick. It's about 0.5 centimeters, 0.2 inches of plastic on each side. The only wrong thing about this bow is the tape. Well, because it was made half-assed. The bars get crooked, like not aligned properly. Dude, dude, you're falling to pieces. You need some rest. Well, that's it, folks. Like the video, subscribe to our new channel. We're going to keep thrashing on. Yeah, I mean, the bow is awesome. Sure, it needs some finishing touches all the way, these things, the handle, etc. But the flexibility of the bars, the retention time is fucking rad. It's awesome considering it's cheap, quick and easy. Daniel Kraster was here. See you later, guys.